this is going to be my next start to finish Lego haul. I got this January of 2023. It came from a neighbor of mine that buys storage auctions and she found this in one of the storage units. There's about, I believe, six pounds here and it shouldn't take me too long to go through this. I did notice though as I was dumping these out of the bag that there are quite a few that I am going to have to wash. So that will slow up the process a little bit, but we're going to sort through it and see what we can pull out of here to start. I'm an interesting dilemma. I did wash a bunch of these parts yesterday, but as you can clearly see, they are still really bad. So I'm trying to figure out, do I want to try soaking them for a couple of days and see if that dirt just falls off of it or do I just want to stick it in my filler box? Kind of torn between the two because these bigger plates are always nice to have in inventory. But I've got to make a choice. <laughs> Some of them came out okay. Not a lot though. There were a couple of pieces that I noticed the dirt did come off of them. And I'm sure as I go through and really look at each piece before I put it into inventory, I'm going to find a lot more. So that's kind of why I'm thinking keep those for a while and then I can just do another wash. And if they're not clean, then toss them out. This was my sixth upload for this particular lot. And there wasn't any good finds in this one either. It was 209 parts and 101 lots for $14.87. I am doing pretty good profit wise, although there hasn't been any good finds or anything that'll bring people into my store. I do have a profit of $60 right now. I am still finding quite a few parts that are dirty that need to be washed. So I will probably do that once I'm done putting everything in. And then this is all the stuff that is scratched and will go in the filler box. What I'm working on now is just a bunch of little categories. I was working on the windows and glass, so I still have the shutters to work on. Inverted slopes, some hinges and some round bricks and cones. So that's what I will be working on next for this lot. I just got done doing an upload and I actually had some good finds in this one. I was starting to wonder if there would be anything good in this, but I had three parts that were over a dollar and that vehicle part is over $4. Right now, I have 1,630 parts in 746 lots for a bricklink cost of $93, and I have a profit of $73, which is a lot more than I thought it was going to be. What I'll be working on next is just a bunch of miscellaneous parts. I'm really getting down on what is left. I have a couple of Technic parts, brackets, panels, and wedge parts to do. I did another upload for this particular Lego lot, and this one was the six pounds. This is one of the last uploads I'll do, and there was a couple of good finds in this. There was a ladder that was over $2 and a little dish that was over a dollar. And I only uploaded 69 parts and 62 lots for $13. And that actually makes my profit a lot more than I thought it was going to be. As you can see, I had 2,052 parts for $143 on BrickLink, and my profit was $123. I do have just a little bit left. I have this right here, which are parts that need to be washed. I'm not sure how many of these are actually going to come clean. Most of these will probably end up in that filler bag, but I am going to give it a try and see what I can clean up and then I will get these added as well. It is a bright sunny day, so I decided that since these have been soaking in that in water for a couple of days, I would go ahead and see if I could get any of them clean. Also use this on the plates to get in between the studs, and I think 
most of those I think are sellable have to wait until they dry and see how they look once they're dried the little pile over here are things that will be going into that bag of not being able to sell parts <laughs> and the rest I will kind of go through once I have them dried and in the shop I can look at them to see if they're going to be sellable or not. I washed all of these and went through them and now I'm going through them again and I seem to be tossing more than I'm putting into inventory but I just have these few things left to look at and then most of these will probably end up in here but we're going to go through and see what we can get into inventory, if anything. I did that really small update. There was just 53 items that ended up going into my inventory. Nothing too crazy. A couple of things that were over 25 cents, but that was about it. My final on this one is 11 uploads for 2100 parts for a bricklink cost of $149 and my cost was $20 so a profit of $129 which was pretty good considering I wasn't sure there was going to be anything in there I'd be able to keep. <laughs>